What's up travelers? It's a Liz and Derek from Mean to Travel and today is a travel day. We are headed from our hotel here in Exeter over to check into an Airbnb in Bristol but we are going to do several stops along the way. Three stops hopefully along the way. We're going to stop and do a little bit of shopping because we're heading up to the Lake District after Bristol and we want to be a Outfitted, I guess, to do a little <laughs> bit of hiking. Um, we, we didn't bring quite enough clothes. I for think that. outfitted's the perfect. Color. Outfitted, um, and then we're gonna head over to Wells, check out their kick butt cathedral. Um, on our way to Cheddar Gorge, we've had a lot of people say Cheddar Gorge is pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna go see if that's true. The the cave is closed <laughs> right now, but I think we can still walk around and do a little bit of sightseeing. Yeah, and we wanted to go stop at Glastonbury Abbey as well, but that is also closed right now due to the pandemic. So only three stops today. Um, all kind of in that very area on our way to Unless Bristol. I see something pretty, and then I might stop the car. Anyways. Yeah, we'll see. All right, see you guys soon. Cheers. Bye. So we keep getting all these sun showers today, but no rainbows, and it's really sad. I want a rainbow. Do you want a rainbow? <laughs> and we are about to walk into the shopping center. We just paid to park via an app with Apple Pay. And so we have about two hours. We're gonna get some coffee for Derek first and then go check out the stores to get outfitted for our hiking. Let's go. Spotted Cafe Nero for some coffee. Let's, let's do this. Also, Claire's for air piercing. <laughs> What's up? Hey guys, we just left Cafe Nero. We're sitting on a bench here at Clark's Village. The whole place is actually a lot more crowded than I thought it would be because it is a Monday, but I do believe we're still in that window of time that all the kids are on their like half fall. Term yeah, half term. Um, kind of like a fall break from school. Um, otherwise, I was like, why are there so many people here? Um, anyway, so we just were talking about on one of our live streams what millionaire shortbread is, saying that we got millionaire shortbread ice cream um, in, Cornwall. in Cornwall. And we saw. They call it caramel shortbread um, at Cafe, at Cafe Nero. Nero and a lot of the other places, but we just wanted to show you guys. So it's the shortbread pastry here with caramel filling and then chocolate on top. Oh my gosh, it is divine. And so Derek and I are about to split this and enjoy our, I got a mocha and you got? A latte. Yeah, and my mocha has oat milk in it, so. I'm guessing I'm not gonna get half of that. No, no, I'll split it with <laughs> you so that way I don't spoil my lunch, but anyway. Then we're gonna go and try to track down some clothes. All right, see you guys. first purchase here. Um, we went to TOG 24, stands for Truth Over Glory 24, and um, it's a Yorkshire based outdoors brand, and so I got a fleece half zip pullover and a 
pink, which I'm not usually a pink person, but today's the day, um, a pink uh, polyester shirt that'll be quick dry. And then Derek and I both, I think, can wear the same merino wool socks. We got a pack of three. So that'll be great for when we're hiking because we both only brought one pair. <laughs> All right, um, let's go to the next door. Cool, so we just finished at a store here called Chess Pass. And this is another outdoor clothing company. And I ended up getting two different tops that are gonna be good for hiking and then a pair of gloves that have like the tips of the fingers missing so I can use my phone. And Derek got some tech gloves as well that he can use with his camera, which we're really excited about because he's been struggling a little with that. <laughs> um, but we're finishing up here, uh, trying to get Derek a jacket and then we're gonna head out and over to Wells Cathedral. So let's go. Mountain warehouse, that seems promising. The same super promising. I think we shall. Okay, so I just bought a jacket, a gray jacket with a little zip out. Um, and it had a hood and a lot of good waterproofing because it's about to get wet in the UK. And something with a hood for sure. Yeah, so uh, that'll make hiking in the Lake District a little bit nicer. Let's get out of here though, because we gotta go hit a cathedral before maybe seeing Cheddar Gorge and get into our Airbnb in Bristol. So let's go. All right, guys, as we say, see a toilet, use it. Tell you what, these parking lots in England are in peak foliage. What can I say? So many glorious parking lots today. <laughs> or car parks. Woo! <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Tripping over speed humps. All right, let's get out of here. <gasps> cathedral? Cathedral? Which one? We don't know. Wait, so that looks cathedral ish, but that looks cathedral for realsies over there. So. Yeah. Huh. Huh. I don't know. I, it's a dilemma. If only we had a map. <laughs> wow, our shadows are long. Look how tall I am, everyone. What? Let's go find us a cathedral. Okay. So that was St. Cuthbert's Church that we saw, and we're heading there for the cathedral, and we're right here now. Poser. Hey, <laughs> don't be mean. Let's go check it out. St. Cuthbert is a fine church. It, in most locations, it would be a wonderfully great church. Good church, great Good. cathedral. <laughs> Let's go. the main drag um, in Wells, so like the high street here, and we're approaching the cathedral right now. But how cute is this town? Oh my gosh, all these really pretty buildings with shop fronts and everything like that, and the cathedral in the background, it's incredible. That's original to the cathedral right here. <laughs> it's an original barricade. Bishop's Palace all in here, um, which I'm uncertain how it's connected to the cathedral. It looks like... It would have been the place where the bishop lived. Yeah, it's been the residence for more than 800 years. Um, and apparently the gardens are remarkable. So I'm not sure if they're free to enter or whatnot. I don't know if we have time for like a paid tour. So we'll just take a look. Have you seen the swans? Look at these Oh. oh my gosh, it's so beautiful in the moat. Like Holy this, cow. This, this is our first like actual filled in with water moat of this trip. 
How cool is that? <laughs> They're like fighting over something. <laughs> the swans are like, oh, so embarrassing. This moat is crazy. It's so cool. It's all tied together to say 800 because it's been the bishop's residence for over 800 years. They paint arrows on the floor. Oh, right. Sorry. This is so beautiful. I'm really glad we came here. We've made it to the Wells Cathedral and man, it's gorgeous. So what is super interesting about this particular cathedral is that it was started in 1175 and finished around the 12th and 13th centuries. And basically what's really cool is that in the front facade, there's 300 different sculptures. Um, so you can really see that when you get up close and we'll give you guys a little sneak peek of that. But it's just really stunning to see that front as soon as you enter this area. And then once we get in, they've set it up so there's no guided tours anymore. But there are, uh, there is an ability to still walk around the cathedral. You just have to follow these, what they call the pilgrim's footsteps. So it's like these rainbow footprints that go around in just one way around the cathedral. So we're looking forward to going to do that next. We're in the nave right now um, in Wells Cathedral and so what um, I wanted to say is that this cathedral is the seat of the Bishop of Wells in the Anglican Church. According to online sources, a lot of the stained glass in this east side of the cathedral behind me is actually original to the you know, original building and, and laying up the stained glass. It's beautiful, very well preserved.
Another thing that's cool is that it is free to enter in here. You just have to follow, of course, all of the one-way systems. And it's dog friendly. So I was able to befriend a cute pup on my walk around the cathedral. <laughs> and I am all for that. Do you think this is his pet cat? I don't know. I feel like you would be... I want that on my tomb. Yeah, like... <laughs> you'd be into that. the baptismal font in the cathedral and it's so old what's cool is that the drum of the font is from anglo-saxon times and that top part the cover is much more recent it's from 1635. <laughs> the anglo-saxon times is over a thousand years ago so it's pretty old this is very much an antique <laughs> Dangwell's Cathedral, you're pretty. We have this place to ourselves right now because it's closed. <laughs> So I came here to Costa because I was thinking that we'd be like scarfing down what is a very late lunch and then heading to the Cheddar Gorge, but I'm a little nervous we're not going to make it before sunset. Ah, uh, it went away. 10,000 steps. Promise. No lying. All right, now we're gonna try to get to Shredder Gorge. That might not happen because we're losing the light quickly. It's not quite, because actually it says that it remains charmingly small in size with only the city of London narrowly beating it to the claim of being England's smallest city. Because those who oh, don't know, the actual city, of, the actual London, city yeah. of London is quite small. It's, um, it's like a mile tiny. by a mile, I think, yeah. in terms of land size. Yeah, so I guess this is by land size. Maybe England's second smallest. <laughs> um, but probably population wise, it's, uh, it's getting pretty small here. But yeah, it's, uh, we really thoroughly enjoyed Wells, didn't we? Yeah, I want to come back. Yeah, some real time I wish here. we had more time. But we got to get to the Cheddar Gorge before sunset. So we just left the city of Wells and are on our way to the Cheddar Gorge and it just started raining. So not only were we running late and likely not going to make it right before sunset, we're going to make it probably right after sunset, but now it's raining. So now we don't even really want to get out of the car, which is such a bummer because everybody, well definitely a lot of people have recommended us going there. It's in the area where you know, cheddar was invented, the cheese, how cool, um, and it's supposed to be beautiful. So we'll see if it stops raining by the time we get there, but mm, my hopes are getting a little dashed. All right, see you soon. Okay, 
to see white people said to come here. It's great. Yeah, wow, this is starting to remind me of like the Rocky Mountains. We're at the Cheddar Gorge right now. We just drove through the town of Cheddar and it looked so cute. And Derek's paying to park, um, <laughs> which you can do via an app here, which is great. Um, and so that should be super fast. But we almost parked over here and there's a sign that says, oh, here we go. <laughs> Basically, rocks could fall at any time. <laughs> um, so we, we decided to park a little bit off of the rocks. It's after sunset and we're at the gorge. Derek's taking some long exposures that should be really cool, but we're definitely a little too late. So we've said that it looks so pretty. We're definitely wanting to come back at some point, hopefully, um, and just be able to experience the town too. Funny story. So we were walking through the town real quick and all of a sudden Derek says to me, Liz, there's like a wolf looking at us. And I look over and lo and behold, there was definitely like a very well-groomed kind of like wolf dog staring right at me and Derek. And we're all by ourselves because all of the tea rooms have shut down. The tourists have gone home for the day. And there's this one guy that comes out of the tea room um, that had been closed. And I'm like, excuse me, sir, do you know who, if that's like somebody's dog? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, that's the guy who lives across the street's dog. And we're like, oh good. And he's like, oh, did you think it was like the local wolf? We're like, uh-huh, and he just laughed at us. <laughs> so um, we thought we were gonna be eaten by a wolf for about 30 seconds of our day today, but we weren't. And um, we instead got to Cute. kind of like see a really cool tea room that we might wanna get back to. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna head to Bristol after Derek takes a few more photos and check into our Airbnb. So see you guys soon. Hey, we've checked into our Airbnb. It's a little strange in here. I think somebody, we haven't had this before, but I think the owners actually maybe live here and do rent it out as an Airbnb because there's definitely um, like little bits and bobs of like their shoes are here and their mail. <laughs> um, so that's interesting. Um, but we are going to go to dinner soon. Um, after we get all of our stuff up in here at a place Let's called... Let's go unpack. Yeah, at a place called River Station. Yeah, should so, be fun. So, yeah, we'll, t we'll see you guys there. All right, so we are walking to the restaurant now to the River something place, and it's going to be delicious. I can't wait. We're getting some duck confit and a bunch of other stuff, and it's going to be awesome. Hopefully, hopefully they have it available. But, uh, yeah, check out this river. It's not bad. It's a little empty out though. There's not a lot of people out. Um, so we might take an Uber back, you know, depending on how we're feeling. All right, River Station, restaurant and bar. station here in Bristol now and Derek and I are looking at this menu and it looks incredible. We are starting with cocktails. Probably going to move on to wine after that actually but this one's really good. This is a pear and elderflower martini. Um, it has a little piece of pear inside of it too. Derek got a blackberry bellini which has prosecco in it if you want to see over there. So we are really liking these so far. I believe it's a bit of a seasonal menu based on what's on it. It seems like there's like a squash soup, there's pear, and this is fall. So um, it seems like they're leaning in towards what's in season, which is really cool. 
We can't wait to try out the food. You guys, Derek and my appetizers came and I got the um, butternut squash soup. Oh, it looks so good. And Derek got the pork cheek croquettes with a butternut squash puree on the bottom and blackberry and apple on the side. Wow, it looks so good. And then we now have a glass of Malbec and a glass of Guinness between us. So, bon appetit and uh, looking forward to those mains. <laughs> Our mains just came, oh my gosh, I got the duck confit with a Malbec, and Derek got the monkfish with a bed of ris chorizo risotto, and he's getting a second Guinness. Can't wait to dig in. We just finished dinner here, and it was so good. Delicious. Um, and we highly recommend this restaurant for if you have like a special occasion here in Bristol, or some home. yeah, we're taking some home right now, um, or just any sort of like really foodie night out. And if you liked this video, definitely give us a thumbs up down below. If you want to see more of our travel vlogs, then definitely press that red subscribe button down below too if you haven't already. So that way you can see all of our travel vlogs and other travel videos on this channel. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Cheers, happy travels. Bye. Bye. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.